Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs 11 straight years every day. Today I'd like to share Genesis 1 verses 20 to 23. Here's the word of God. And God said, Let the waters swarm with swarms of living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth across the expanse of the heavens. So God created a great sea creatures and every living creature that moves with which the waters swarm according to their kinds, and every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good, and God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let birds multiply on the earth. And there was evening, and there was morning, the fifth day. Genesis 1, 20-23. Here's the poem I wrote inspired by those verses. After the creation of the great lights, follow the making of creatures. The waters were swarmed with living creatures that moved in it. They were vari there were various of them, but God made them according to each kind. Once again, the Lord decorated the water and the skies with much life. When God makes something, He blesses them to be fruitful and multiply. What a sight it must have been to watch the waters and skies come alive. All living creatures that God made were designed to propagate. That is why we still see these creatures continue their kinds on earth. And here's the essay I wrote. If you are an animal lover, this may be your favorite day of God's creation. God commanded the waters to produce all kinds of living creatures. It seemed like even the birds came out from the waters, but if you look at Genesis 2.19, it also indicated that they came from the earth. I'm speculating that these birds coming from the sea must have been larger, since in verse 21, great sea creatures were mentioned. It must have been like those flying reptiles, like the pterosaurs, that these verses were referring to. What an awesome sight it must have been to see the various kinds of animals, beasts, mammals, insects, and birds all over the place all at one time. When I watched Jurassic Park with my son when he was a kid, it brought out that inner child in me, excited to visualize how God made every living creature. Reflection. What is your favorite living creature that God made and why is it your favorite? I love both um, fishes and uh, birds. I used to take care, but I love plants as well. So I used to take care of uh, fishes in an aquarium. I, I have probably five, six different aquariums when my son was growing up. And uh, I had uh, birds. I had, I had love birds and parrots. So this gave me delight because each time I watched the, the, the fishes swim in the water, even though it's just a small aquarium, it still gave me such delight to see that God made wonderful, beautiful, colorful fishes and also colorful birds. And, and everything that God made is beautiful. Now, when I watched that, uh, as I mentioned in, in my essay, when I watched the Jurassic Park, I still can remember how, um, how the production of that movie was almost reminiscent of how it was when the world began. And everything is green, it's fresh, and those big, big creatures like the dinosaurs and those that fly as well, uh, reptiles that fly, was so amazing. <laughs> and, um, and that made me look back at how God created the world and how these creatures came into being. And even uh, the making of Noah's Ark, when the, he was putting all the different uh, creation in that ark, was another amazing thing for me to think about. So, what is your favorite? I think it's important that we recognize 
the magnificence of God when he made all these creatures, uh, some flying, some swimming, some crawling, some walking on the land. They're all very different. But uh, if you ever think of it, why he made these things, it's also for us, for us humans to enjoy and to um, store all these uh, beautiful things that he created. So I encourage you to look back in God's creation and uh, let that child in you marvel and be awed by what he did. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. Please subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I can make more videos for the Lord. And if you'd like to see over 3,000 videos I've done in 11 years, just type on Google or YouTube search, Ilma's Poem Devotional. Have a wonderful day.